though. But peep though, when you tell that to a white person, you gonna say, okay, so why well, I gotta follow y'all God then? Our people, they, they enslaved our people. Listening. Was it? Was is that of true? Of course. But yeah. All right. Love, in the name, like, of, in the name like of God, what we follow. I know exactly what they want. Exactly what they want. I know exactly what they want. Exactly what they want. Just be patient. My name is my name, power and glory, I never change Stand on loyalty, remain the same, say what you mean Speak on my name, you go to war with me We move the same, you think that it's for me Running the game, kicking the door with me All through the pain, the snow, the rain, the ups and downs My name did more for me My name is my name, power and glory, I never change Stand on loyalty, remain the same, say what you mean Speak on my name, you go to war with me We move the same, you think that it's for me Running the game, kicking the door with me All through the pain, the snow, the rain, the ups and downs My name who are the children of God? Who is us? Is it, actually, is it everybody? Let's find out. Right here we have a chart, right? What is your nationality? I'm Puerto Rican. What about you? Haiti. What? Haiti. Haiti? Okay, what about you, sis? Dominican. what about you? Okay, so. According to the Bible, right, in history and archaeology, we look at the people of the Bible, God's chosen people. Who are they today? Who are the Israelites today? Uh, black people. Are they? <laughs> That's what I heard. That's a, good, that's a good point. So we look at the sun right here. The names you see in bold right here, these are, these are what were called by God in the Bible, right? But in the world today, through captivity and through slavery, our names were changed by the people that had us in captivity. So they call us Haitians. Right, right. But I have a question. Go ahead. Don't you think that is created the God, though? <laughs> so, let me ask you a question. I'll ask you your question, right? Does God want us all to be united, or does he want us to be separated? Yeah. Which but one is it? When you say God loves everybody, God loves a certain group of people, it's kind of like, damn. You don't love us? Let's see, is it my... Like if I go to a white person, and be like, damn, bro, does God love me? But look at this, though. We gotta think, what is the truth of the Bible? Do you want to hear nice things, or what the actual Bible actually says? The truth. The truth. The truth, But right? the truth is translated. By who? What do you mean translated? Oh, well, you gotta read the book. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, as soon as we translate the language, it's not the same as what it was in the original No, language. no, do you know the history of the, trans the transliteration of the Bible? Um, uh, it's, uh, it's such for the age. I forgot, but that was the first language written in the Bible. What is, no, no, what it is basically this. The Bible is written in Hebrew, right, and Greek. What it did, it, it transliterated the Bible, not translated. So it took word for word you know, and I put it in different mean, language. Okay, go ahead. But when you think about words and their connotations, when you translate, you can't always get a perfect translation. That is why it's not translated, it's transliterated. No, but it's okay, transliterated. You're not going to get the same points, you're not going to feel hold the on, same. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to have the I same I hear effect. what you're trying to say, but listen, it's word for word. Yeah. Like, okay, how do you say... Um, you have to go through, but you listen. Okay. It's, it's like saying car in Spanish and car in in, in, in Haitian Creole, right? It's a different word, but it means the same thing, right? right. A but, machine, right? Car, right? So you think after all the translations and different versions of the Bible, the English version, people are still getting the same so how many God people? that the um, people that speak Hebrew are getting? No, they're not, they're not okay. experiencing the same God. Okay. When you have definitions and words, you have different connotations in your mind. Okay. Like, like, for example, in your culture, you might hear somebody say, oh, I hate you, right? But in Spanish, somebody might have a phrase where I hate you means I love you. There's different connotations. Okay. And but as a culture, as a culture, we all, as a culture, we all experience those phrases. But that is translation. Translation is literally word for word. Okay, that's, that's probably what I meant to say. Transliterate. Okay, so that's the thing, though. The Bible was transliterated from Hebrew to English, but we all can speak the language right now. Because when I speak reading this in Hebrew, do you understand Hebrew? So how would you understand what's being taught to you? You want it, right? So they, so they put it in a language you can understand. That's right. all it is. Right. So no, the King James Bible was one of the earliest Bibles that was transliterated to English because that was the majority of the speaking world was English. Right. Right. So we can actually understand it. So now we have the word. Now it's full spectrum of being in Hebrew or the language that we can understand. That's all it is. So the translations are for us to understand. What do you got? The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. Yeah. You know, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. So what are you saying? We'll go one time. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. So, so, I agree with you. so, so does his word change into a different language? 
His word doesn't change, but the way we interpret it changes but, as a culture. But, you get, what, so, you get my point. Understand? Well. Now look, are we interpreting what it says or reading what it says? We're Let, interpreting. Let's find out. We're reading and then interpreting. Let, let's find out. Let me get um, Saint Peter one verse twenty. We're just gonna read the Bible, okay? All we're doing is reading it. We're not gonna do nothing else. Saint Peter one verse twenty. If you can't find it, just give me. Um, yeah, you are there. I understand where you're coming from, right? So, watch this. Listen, side. I'm on your side. I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm just telling y'all that the way that we interpret things is not the same. We're not here to interpret anything, but we just read the Bible. Here you go, read up. When you read the All Bible, right, let me, you interpret it. Well, I understand what you're saying, right? I agree fully with what you said, because I never thought of it that way, right? I agree with y'all. Uh -huh. That's what I'm telling you. What I'm going to say is that like I, we try to go by the Bible. So I speak the Hebrew. My dad teaches the Hebrew. So when I listen to the, when I speak the Hebrew, I'm like, whoa, this sounds so similar. We try, Okay, we understand some of the stuff is translated, right? But we try to keep it to the best of our ability, right? So like about keeping the commandments, when God said keep the commandments, and like like being being gay. We can't be gay because right. in the Bible it talks about not being gay, right? right? So the LGBTQ and the, all the faggotry, we cannot partake in that, right? So we just try to translated close to you know yeah. what the bible says right i, I agree with you yeah yeah i'm just trying to tell you so yeah. i don't want to be no confused right somebody hears like this right they see this if a white person walk by you think they're gonna be like yeah oh yeah this is my god they're gonna think why are y'all trying to separate the world more than what it is? Well, hold up. Let yeah. me get to the one No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying in general. Oh, man. They're saying this is the truth. This is the truth. Yeah, it's not 328. This is their point. They're saying God loves their people, huh? right? God loves his people. His message is oh, that these are God's people. Well, hold on. But well, isn't that true, though? These are, but, but these are Pete, God's people. But Pete, though, when you tell that to a white person, he's going to say, okay, so why I got to follow y'all God then? Our people, they enslaved our people. Was it, was, is that true? Of course. But, yeah. All right. In the name of God, what we follow, we follow what the Bible says. The love, we follow love. In our what is love? Our what is love in our neighbor? Who, God is love. Who is who's your neighbor? God is love. He's my neighbor. You're my neighbor. Look, I'm it, not gonna tell it, you. I'm not gonna tell you that God don't love you because you was a different person. Let me get one miss. Uh, I'm just saying this looks, looks this looks misleading to certain people. Do you not understand? Okay, that's a long story. I got you. Hey, hold on, I got you. <laughs> These are the people who deem that his people. Uh-huh. In terms of God, that don't mean that it has a spread. All this is now is different. Hold on, brother. No, that's not true. Not true? That's not, not true at all. Yeah. I'm going to show you. Let me show you. Read that. Malachi 1 yeah, verse 3. I'm sorry, but I don't mean to cut y'all off. The book of Malachi chapter 1 and verse 3. He you said know. God loves everybody, right? Let's see what the Bible says. What God says himself. Read that. And I hated Esau. And the what? And I hated Esau. Who's Esau? So we read about Jacob and Esau in Genesis, in Genesis 25. You learn about two different ways of people. Jacob would be our people, so called blacks, Hispanic, living Muslim. We do the history, right? We look at Esau. Huh? That's what the Bible says. Alright, man, no problem. So called blacks, Hispanics, living Americans are God's chosen people right here. Angry Micah 3 verse 6 says that God never changes. He doesn't just change. We're still his people. Okay, what's that mean? So we all came from the same place regardless. No, we come from Israel. It's two different things. We can read about Ham, Shem, Japheth. These are three different people, Noah's sons, right? They all separated and started their own so families. Their sons. So yes. So His they sons all started from the same origin. We had one place of origin. They all started from the same origin. Okay, what's that mean though? Are we all the same? Okay, listen. If I'm African okay. and I have three kids that migrate to different places, okay. they still come from the same place. So do you they, get what I'm trying to tell they you? They interact with different people. They're not all the same people though. Of course. Okay, so look at these people right here. These people are all the same. They're one family. Mm -hmm. They had one father, which was Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. We're one family. Jacob? Yes, Jacob. We're, we're Jacob. And he was translated to Israel. His name was changed. What does Israel mean? Prince of the power with God. That's what it means. So we're, we're gods on this earth. Okay. Hey, but... It's all love. You know, I'm just trying to chop y'all brain. I appreciate y'all. I don't disagree with y'all. I just want to, you know what I'm saying, understand where y'all come from.
pressure be building, the flesh and the spirit be battling, I gotta stay away. Can't lose my faith, cause that's all that I gotta be sinning, it's time that I change my ways. Repentance is all on my mind, I gotta stay righteous, I'm taking it day to day. Stay strong in the battle, I fight, I wanna do right, ain't no time to play it safe. I put on that armor, God, commandments gon' keep me alive.